true that pastors lives are getting better and creamy and the people are suffering but when you agree with that statement uh, that particular rig from uh, Femi Kuti. Would you also agree that the lives of politicians, the families and cronies are getting better and there is no direct reflection of this in the lives of the common people? You and I, who are Nigerians, are bearing the brunt of economic downturn in Nigeria. Well, um, a lot of people who stayed glued to their TV set and, of course, um, radio to monitor the presentation of the 2018 budget by Mr. President, President Muhammad Buhari, yesterday to the joint session of the National Assembly. Both the senators, uh, or both the Senate and the House of Representatives uh, sat together at the House of Representatives Green Chamber to host Mr. President as a presented the 2018 budget of consolidation, as Mr. President has said. What exactly are we consolidating? Uh, well, you may begin to ask. A quick um, uh, breakdown of the budget uh, indicates that uh, a budget of uh, 28.6 trillion naira is what uh, Mr. President is proposing in 2018 financial year. Well, um, when you look at uh, the breakdown, you realize that what Mr. President is, uh, bench, is benchmarking for the crude oil price is $45 per barrel, uh, with the oil production estimates of 2.3 million barrels per day. Hopefully, nothing will happen. Uh, Despite the threat coming from the Niger Delta Avengers uh, about a few days ago from the Niger Delta region, uh, you could see uh, crude oil production uh, getting some kind of a, a beat down there if there's any untoward uh, attack in the Niger Delta region. And of course, with the projections that exchange rate will continue to hover between 305 naira to the US dollar for the year 2018, uh, stands. Uh, it's still um, the unofficial rate of uh, dollar to uh, naira stands at around 360, 365. And uh, if uh, we're lucky, the real GDP growth will continue to be around 3.5%, uh, and inflation rate stabilizing at 12.4%. Uh, uh, talk about expenditure estimates. The recurrent expenditure is going to gulp a large sum of 3.494 trillion naira, while debt servicing will gulp 2.014 trillion naira, statutory transfers of about 456 billion naira, the sinking fund of 220 billion naira. Uh, this is uh, talking about uh, uh, retiring matured bonds uh, to local contractors who are helping. Uh, to finance a capital project. Capital expenditure is going to take a record chunk of uh, 2.428 trillion naira. Uh, that is uh, a very huge sum when you're talking about uh, how much the federal government intends to pump into the economy through execution of capital uh, projects. But one key thing is that uh, Mr. President disclosed that about 572 billion naira was uh, has been recovered so far uh, from blue times. So 572 billion dollar looted funds are also going to be involved or included in the financing of this uh, 8.062, uh, 8.62 rather, uh, 612 trillion dollar budget. 8.61 to trillion dollar budget. It's about 16% above the 2017 budget estimate. This is the highest ever budget proposed by the government of the Federation. But apart from all this that I've been talking about, apart from the grammar, apart from the, <laughs> the rhetoric, and of course uh, uh, the figures that have been banded right, left and center by Mr. President, what does this mean? How does this translate to better living standards and better conditions for the people? Uh, how does this translate to economic boom? How does this translate to uh, service delivery, to reduction in the price of uh, goods and services uh, across the country? That is what we'll be looking at this morning on Citizens for a Monday Show. China.
All right, I'm Chenya Ibrahim. Welcome on board. Yeah, Toby, 2018, January 1st, we are looking for a better life in Nigeria with this very budget. Well, the biggest ever, that's what I tell you. 8.6 trillion naira is on the high side. And then looking at it, it's even higher than the previous years. That's by 16%. And then the budget forecasts a deficit of 2.005 trillion naira. That's about $6.56 billion dollars from last year's and then you begin to wonder is this achievable all the budgets we have in nigeria have did we ever achieve them did we go halfway and then now this very one but really there's hope for nigeria there's a future ahead of us and we are looking forward to a better life come 2018 we have suffered enough i tell you we have <laughs> suffered enough <laughs> well uh, does that include you Chaya? And you talk about those who have suffered. So, <laughs> I'm in Nigeria. Right, no no, recession no affects everyone. Okay, no, no more to answer because uh, your beautiful face, you put on jewelry, expensive jewelry, hmm. bags, blinks and the like. Uh, I tell you, go to the rural areas, the hinterlands, and then you begin to see how uh, people are so removed and far off from reality. And the reality is that things are not shaping up. Uh, that are very, very uh, disturbing in this And then we hear different stories of people taking their lives, all because of unpaid salaries, pensions, and what have you. All these things should be looked into. It should be included it, in the it, budget, it's, I tell it's, you. It's all encompassing. Sometimes you, it's easy to quickly uh, say that, oh, somebody takes his life or uh, somebody commits suicide. It's due to emotional or psychological imbalance. But there are so many things that culminate into that very uh, withdrawn uh, state of mind. And then that leads to uh, giving up uh, totally and uh, making sure that, okay, uh, I need to get out of the system that is making me unhappy. And they decide to snuff life out of them themselves. But uh, let, let, let's even leave that. Let's come back to the, the, the budget once again. Um, when you talk about our recurrent expenditure, according to Mr. President, a substantial part of the recurrent, uh, recurrent cost proposal for 2018 is for the payment of salaries and overheads in key ministries. Um, and the interior is going to gap about 510.87 billion era. Education, 435.01 billion era. Defense is going to gap 422.43 billion era, 269. Point thirty four billion era is going to the health sector. Now that is very, very disturbing. Mm -hmm. Now let's come to the capital expenditure. Power works on housing is uh, leading the pack with five hundred and fifty five point eight eight billion naira. Uh, transportation two hundred and sixty three point one zero billion naira. That's coming second uh, on the list of uh, capital expenditure. Uh, estimates. Then followed by special intervention programs, 150 billion era, defense, 145 billion era, then agriculture and rural development, 118.98 billion era. That is coming a distant uh, fifth. Am I correct? Agriculture and rural development. Okay, that's coming a distant uh, fourth uh, on the list. Uh, talk about how much they are going to get. Uh, don't forget, there are still budget proposals. It depends largely on how much they can garner yeah, through loans, yeah, through uh, contractor financing, and, and the likes. But don't forget that the focus of the administration, uh, when we actually find ourselves in recession, economic recession, is that agriculture will actually bail us out. And uh, a lot of investments were made into the agricultural sector. Uh, pending the time that there was going to be oil rebound and uh, the oil sector would uh, uh, witness some kind of uh, appreciative progress. But this time around, investing or proposing the 118.98 billion era will go into the agricultural and rural uh, development sector uh, or ministry, as it were, it still makes nonsense of the fact that we are truly diversifying. How serious are we? in actually making agriculture the mainstay of the economy. So that is a very crucial uh, uh, question, very crucial point that uh, needed to be looked into. So um, if I were to ask you, uh, Chenye, and of course uh, this is a question I want uh, uh, 
our listeners to actually and those who will be calling on the program to actually answer uh, how, what is your understanding of this budget of consolidation is that is there any uh, appreciable uh, progress uh, apart from that of 2017 uh, just let's leave the 16 or 17 percent increase uh, in the in the budget estimate. What, 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 how do we translate this to economic recovery? How do we translate this to um, uh, increase in, uh, in 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 GDP? How do we translate it to increase uh, in in the in the in the in the in the, in the lives of? Uh, uh, the, talking about betterment of the lives of, of people. So when, when you when you look at all this, you realize that um, a lot of questions are begging for oh, answers. Sorry. Mr. President uh, received loud ovation, a standing ovation yesterday. It was applauded, but we need to walk the talk and not just talk the talk. Toby, while you were mentioning all those um, sectors and what have you, you didn't mention anything about um, education. Education is important for a green economy. Education is going to go up about 61.73 billion. billion uh, uh, a quick calculation of that would uh, show that uh, it's still far below billion. the required percentage or the recommended percentage of what uh, should go to education when it comes to annual budgets as uh, proposed by UNESCO. Uh, and that is why a lot of people are complaining about education, the full education standard, and the death in education standard in our nation's ivory towers. All right, you can be part of the discourse this morning. Uh, you can call the studio lines. You can reach us via short code 32120. Or better so you reach us on our social media uh, platforms. 0809-868-7344 or 0909-146-9670 are the numbers to call. Uh, yeah, uh, this is uh, Honorable John Abafemi. Thank you for calling. Yeah, good morning, Rock City FM. Good morning to you too. I want to contribute to what is going on on Rock City FM concerning the budget presentation mm -hmm. by the president. Uh, president. Mm -hmm. Uh, first and foremost, let me congratulate him for the budget to the National Assembly. But I want to ask, to what extent has the federal government been able to look into those challenges that militated against the performance of the 2016 and 2017 budgets? To what extent have they been able to look at it to ensure that it does, it, it, those challenges do not repeat themselves again come 2018 uh, uh, implementation of the budget. Because if those things were not taken into consideration, then this 2018 budget, I am afraid, will probably go the same way that 2016 and 2017 have gone. It is needless to raise the hope of the people and then dashing it, even cut out the way to the, to the year. And that is what we need to factor in. The government, as they have taken the budget preparation so seriously, the implementation of it must equally be taken so seriously. We need the budget to be properly implemented. The capital expenditure, the capital projects in particular, those things that will elevate the economy of Nigeria and the city theory. That is exactly what is most important, not just mere presentation. We don't want to fund budgets. We want budgets that will be able to perform. And that is what the federal government must have to look at. They must look at the challenges, those things that stood against them. Have they factored those challenges into the preparation of the 2018 budget? If not, I'm afraid. Good morning. Thank you very All much. Right, good morning. You. We want a performing budget. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good Mr. morning. Prato be good morning. Good morning. Prato be, you are a liar. Are you telling us that you buy the same... I buy rice the same price you buy it. Uh, really? Uh, uh, is, so it gold, have, have is it gold rice you eat? <laughs> <laughs> you can lie. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, call all the user with my name. Thank you for calling. Um, let's look at the uh, budget. I'm trying to get the, the, the amount budgeted for the education and agriculture. Far, 
fafa ilu fontat eh wax an nausse apa from that budget i realize that this admiration has nothing to offer us again again so that means they have nothing for oncoming youth education per se apa it is high time if there is anything you are doing that gives you food, that puts food on your table, it is high time to open it. It is high time to open it. Because they have nothing to offer us again. One of my father used to say, same Nibububongo, same Nibububongo. If you are a man, uh, hello, Colonel Joseph. Yes, my brother. Let, let me ask you uh, would you still say that uh, the economic recession that we witnessed uh, between 2015 and uh, 2016 and early 2017 okay. is still very much around? Have you not yes, noticed very that? Much, very much, very much around. Okay, how much do we buy rice? How much do we buy But the rice? price has come down. It has come down to what price? You tell me. Hey, you buy me too. You tell me. I ask you. Toby, don't let us deceive ourselves. Don't let us deceive ourselves. Do you want to consider the price we buy rice in the past administration to this current administration? Then we are we are deceiving ourselves. We are coming out of the recession. No, we are still in the recession. We are still in recession. If you are a man with a job, it, are, it is high time you get another job. If you can get at least 10 jobs, I, uh, I believe you will survive in Nigeria. But is that no, possible well. in Nigeria? Hmm. Ma, is that what? Is that possible in Nigeria? It is possible. It is possible. Go with us. Amen. Thank you very much, Kalawali Joseph. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. And Mr. Chobi, good morning. Thank you for good morning. morning. There is this, uh, I don't know how to qualify, this topic that we used to say all the time. The, they say change starts from me and you. Mm. I want you to understand one thing that is, that is the people that we expect the change to come. I was in the gate, they go to the other, they straighten the gate, you did not know. If they are in Abuja, they will show it in theory. People will just learn from that. Where are we going from here? This money that they are saying now, is it the workers that will make the money, the money with the masses? How that money being affected to their side? Thank God, last time, you um, what they develop land, workers from that place, where they are down and soldier, God knows where they will develop wing now to fly. We are talking about the affirm in 2017 for that 18 budget. I'm not going to tell them when they bring the budget. I'm only going to appreciate them when they start using the budget as I went to. Because look at the cars that break down there and they will go to buy another cars tomorrow. And you come to tell me many things tomorrow that change start from me. And whereas the only money is going in one side. Some of the roads may flow go to place almost today that makes the road to be okay. Some of the road in Nigeria now is not good. Believe you me, they will it for the campaign. I don't know where we are going from here. If you are happy, I may not be happy. Price came down to almost 10,000 naira now. I'm telling you soon, you will get to 14,000. The session is only known by the government that comes in. The next government, God knows what is going to tell us. Something has come and gone. The session takes place. I don't know the one that's coming again. Have a nice day. You too, Big Daddy. We shall sound very positive. He's also advocating for a working budget. Hello, good morning. Hello. Good morning, Chair. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Toby. Good morning. My name is Dr. Uncle from Ashirorisi. I start by a quote from a medieval French poet who said, after the Napoleon Wars, that whoever, whosoever French man looks back at the years of Napoleon must be a lunatic. He said that I don't, you can change the name Nigeria and leave the lunatic alone. 
We are talking as if we were not in this country earlier on. We are talking as if we just came back from Jerusalem. Were we like this before? What happened with that money? What people know what they call uh, uh, a, a particular... We had Panama Papers before. We have Paradise Papers now. Nigerians are a Paradise Paper. We have senior president. What is the money which you are supposed to have this budget? Nobody, we should not have corruption. Number two, uh, Toby, the amount of money they have collected from Nigerians is what they are going to use to fund budget. We are asking, what are we doing with that money? They can use that money, use that money. The man has asked too much. We are not commending him on that. But before I go into the real issue of the budget, I was shocked yesterday, Toby, when I saw a president standing for more than an hour reading the budget. And I was wondering, is that a president or a sick man, a dead body, the one who has been buried, with the candle? Look, I was so shocked. That, ah, so the man is still alive, eh? People should keep their mouth shut and be in shame. Number two, the content of the budget was up. Very, very up. When you say a balanced budget, what is going to happen is that one by one we are coming out of it. Anybody who says, right, we don't denominate the economy right, for goodness sake, please. We have other indices, not right or Gary or you. So when people come and talk of that, we are talking of uh, uh, local government type of issues. We are talking of national issues. We don't denominate uh, budget in right and how much right costs. After all, other things are coming. What are we talking of? What are we talking? So we, we should be very careful how we look at it. What I'm, what I'm, I have always said about budget is that a statement of intent, it might go positive, it might go negative. Why don't you watch? I believe in this government. I believe in Buhari, as I've always said. I believe in Nikola uh, Moso. I believe in them. Let us give them chance to take us out. We are already out of the, uh, the land of Egypt. Let nobody come and say they have not done anything. Oh, they have done a lot. They are paying salaries. Some people cannot pay. Our roads are getting better. I don't know if they are them who, uh, who, who made those roads and what have you. The toll price is coming down. These are the fluctuating, but it is within the reach of the common man. If you say that is not enough, then I don't know what they are talking about. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, thank you. Hello, good morning. Hello. Good morning. Yes. From the from who to Comrade All right, thank you. <laughs> yes, Doctor Uko, my grandma. Yes. Anyway, this is my position because I don't want to express any misgiving, any doubt, any worry, any concern about you know the 2018 budget because when we are not in power, it is easier for us to criticize that this malign lampoon and bamboozle the government. We must be very careful with the way we, you know, criticize the government because it happened in the last administration. They were created for position to PDP, but now they are in power now. So let us learn. You know, it's very important. Yes, talking about the budget, I want to be optimistic and positivistic that you know the budget is going to be working. You know, but we need to go to the Niger Delta and appeal to these boys because Mr. President is. This is the benchmark on this budget on the price of crude oil. I think it is 45, you know, dollar per barrel. But if these people should resume facilities, I pray that this budget will work out. So, Mr. President, should please go to the Niger Delta and talk to this boys because we are still running a monolithic economy, and the best way for this this budget to succeed is by urgent and immediate diversification. The government must continue to think out of the box. It must not base this budget on just the price of crude oil. I am talking like a layman and like a common man. And I believe that every reasonable Nigerian can reason along with me. If facility continues in Nigeria, Delta, this budget may not be working to. Unless the government continues to think out of the box, that's the best way at which we can come out of this economic quagmire. And I want to answer for that one to death. The price of goods and commodities has reduced. To some extent, Gary is now 150 naira per kobo. The kumbu of rice, before it used to be 800 naira, now it is, I can buy it 500 naira. So things are getting better. So I would have expected you to answer and uh, follow our wallet yourself. Yeah. Thank you very much for answering <laughs> on our behalf. Yeah. Let's keep up our lives. <laughs> sure, on. sure. Thank you very much. Hello, good morning. Hello. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Tung. Good morning. You started with zero budget in 2015. Now, budget of consolidation. 
It seems this time round, this time, to seek a lot consolidation. I used to say that there is a lot of budget that are presentation. We have had a lot of budget presentation, presentation in the past. Copy it to better the lot of citizens. Example, during the Abacha era, my army had to now a claim what accountant, what the budget, that if we shout it, this is indeed the what of it go. What's the matter of it? Now what we need is real consolidation. Like Toby said, what he talk, we are told in the budget that a lot goes into reported expedition. Yes. If the government is here on this, if it's one area, the loss of the masses can be better. These are just two words. Salary pensions are not this. It's a time that really John Maynard King principle should be put into practice. That is the principle of public finance that saved America during a recession in Roosevelt years. They don't take gov uh, government should for pay this time round. No excuse. We have had enough suicide. Suicide of directors, Lagoon suicide, suicide in the Bushy DC, different appellations. Let us, let, let us talk to our go uh, state governors. They are the culprits, perpetrators uh, of, of, of our suffering. Thank you very much. Thank you too. Okay. Uh, don't forget you can reach us via the chat code 32120. You have to register type rock, leave a space, type your message, include your name and send to 32120. Hello, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. My name is Samuel Savayne from Abadu. You see, I, I, I would like to ask, to ask a question from the leader, our leader of today, because all the efforts to make them realize the way forward. This gossip is um, affordable. They see engaging for that history, for that punishment. Because all the problems that have already uh, seen during the past regime also been happen again for that. In the past, we don't have sufficient money to implement the budget. We can only do it to have a we can only implement the budget by 33%. Also during the good luck administration. But in this administration, due to the violation, we can only implement budget by 20%. The money in the circulation, the city made 1.8 trillion naira. And I mean, the value of 4.3 billion dollars. Before it's 1.10 billion dollars. So the, our question now is that, are we going to have the world? Can we use our own damage poster to, 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 to find money from our country? Because it cannot come to work. And America is going to spend our money. The only is on the increase. So that is the reason why you two have our own internal poster. If you like for you to be slaves, you will set up our own poster. And you give them the same part, which makes you full information. Now you make them generate fun for our country. Because they make it here. God bless us all. Thank you. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, we have Hello. you. Hello. All right, sorry, try and call us back. Good morning. Turn down the volume on your radio set. We lost that call. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Morning, to be honest. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I just listened to the project and uh, from the little analysis I've, I've had, I think I will go in line with Dr. Hukum and the other previous scholar. And uh, our greatest surprise about the project is to see the president who are standing for over an hour and reading that lengthy uh, project. It surprised me. And uh, those people that are saying the, the president is this, is very day, is this and that, I think they should go and apologize to Mr. President or apologize to God. Is the giver of good health and who can create and uncreate. I think it is here. And I think we cannot move forward as a country. When if 50% of the population is trying to make progress, 40% of the population are trying to drag us back. I don't think it's going to be good for anybody. That's just my advice for everybody that is on either of the two sides. We need to work for, together to make this country great. And uh, specifically for the budget, I can see for the first time agriculture, I'm into farming. At least has not been funded as much as we are giving in this project, 180 billion. So I just pray that the problem we have, the biggest problem the, this government is having is the problem of the civil servants. The civil servants that we have in Nigeria, they cannot be taxed. 
This is what I'm talking of overhead. The overhead can only be reduced as much as possible when you start. The process will serve either the federal, and the state, and the local government, which is not possible. So that is the reality that we have on our hands, and we have to navigate through all these uh, factors to make sure that we implement the project for the benefit of all. The workers should be paid, the pensioners should be paid, the unemployed should be given some my chance to be making money on their own. That is the way we can go forward, not to say we should pull every, everything down. Somebody is doing that, that is, I keep bought a, a paint of uh, bright yesterday evening. I bought a paint. I bought it for 1,005. I bought it for 950 naira yesterday evening. So we should be grateful for the greatest slow project we are making towards the vegetation. Before we are importing all the rice we are eating, now we are rice for ourselves. And by next year, the day we will be exporting. I think we should appreciate whatever little progress the government has made. I'm not supporting this man because I've not been paid my pension. But the federal government, the money has been amassed by the, the minister two months ago, 45 billion, and up to now, the, nobody can bring out the, the, the money. The money is being spent by the people in government. And that's why I'm saying that the president can yeah, but he should be able to control the people that work under him. We are protected. Our money has not been paid. He has not said anything about it. And it is this same civil servant that are keeping the money for all pensions that have been verified. So, by some, we should support this government. We should put them on track. We should, we should challenge them and make them do the right thing at all times. It's not easy to govern a country like Nigeria. The locals are even richer than the government. And the money in their hand is even more than what the government is having. So that is just my candid opinion this morning. And I wish the government uh, good progress. And I, may, I also pray that God will continue to support Nigeria to get us out of business. We have found ourselves in the last uh, up to 10 years. Good morning. Thank you very much. Your candid opinion is highly appreciated. All right, we we'll have to take a breather now for the national news of 10. After the national news, we'll be back. Of course, you can keep sending your messages to 32160. Keep tweeting at Rock City FM. And you can drop by on our Facebook fan page to post your comments. Rock City 11.9 FM is the fan page. Stay with us. We'll be back. <laughs> All right, you're welcome back. It's still citizens for a Monday day break show. This is for Wednesday morning, the 8th of November 2017. What we're looking at this morning has to do with the presentation of the 2018 budget by Mr. President. President Mahmoud Wari addressing the joint session of the National Assembly yesterday afternoon presented a budget of uh, 8.62 trillion naira. Uh, that's the highest in the history of the nation. Uh, well, um, the current expenditure is going to gulp uh, about uh, 3.494 trillion naira. Capital expenditure is going to gulp 2.428 trillion naira. And service of debt is about 2.014 trillion naira. All right, um, we're asking you how exactly will this translate to better living conditions for people, economic recovery, and of course, uh, increase in the standard of living uh, of an average in Nigeria. Oh, what do you make? What do you make of your presentation? Well, what do you understand by the name budget of consolidation, and how uh, optimistic are you? that this particular budget, if well implemented, will actually help us uh, get to the right, and, uh, get to the right this destination, or get to our destination as uh, the nation. All right. We'll open the studio lines again, 08098687344 or 0909146 9670. The short code dial, 32120. First you type rock. 
Then you leave a space, type your message, include your name, and send it to free to 120. For the Twitter handle, tweet at RockCityFM and the Facebook fan page, RockCity101.9 FM. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Uh, tell me, uh, good morning. Tell you good morning. Good morning. Yeah, it's very. Hello? Hello, please. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Yes, she's a person. When the people take the either white or black, yes, there are so many other people who are white or black. If you don't even people know what they feel they are not, that's okay, we should be eating. Even when the food is on fire, we don't believe there is food. That's the problem that You see? The government. The government. This is the government of 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 the government. I don't know. That's the first two months of money. So much money. What do you do? That's the thing to look at. Not only two. That's all that two. This thing that you have to look at. The government is not the same. The government is 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 the same. Thank you very much. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My sister, good morning. Toby, good morning. Yes, I greet you. I'm Kadi. Olu Mide from Adekta. Thank you. Um, 8.616 trillion to 18 budget Ukusa. Mm -hmm. You see, I saw Buhari standing for almost one and a half hour. And that's the whole Sudha who will never die. The working leader, the unifying leader. But I don't, I, maybe my, my own thinking this morning would be how will this budget uh, be sustained? I don't know yet. But by consolidation, if I get my right to serve right, the key word suggests to mean that power is given to you and I to support the government. But uh, will they allow us to support them? Will they not be renouncing resentment? We must rise up now from the seat of the follower. That is exactly what that project is talking about, and enter uh, that school of leadership. But how will they allow us to be part of that uh, project? I don't know, except if uh, probably God's will uh, will prevail. But by this budget proposal, more importantly, since this man have introduced or probably is bringing in those Lucas money, the money they have looted, I think the budget will also work if sincerely they are plugging that money into that budget. But as I look, I look back and I am looking forward to this budget to succeed, the budget of consolidation. My thinking will then go as how hopeful that the power that they will allow for ability, capacity and power in the likes of indigenous companies to be at the forefront to probably go uh, and do most of our roads construction instead of giving it to people that will take our, I mean, we will be paying in dollars and then they take away all this money to their country. We have all the likes of um, um, Lisa Kilos in those days, the houses and so on. You see, most of them are just vendors useless now. And we are looking for CCIC. And the roads these people are constructing are not of that benefit to us at all. Go and see every other day in Abekuta here. We always do one construction, reconstructing, doing this and that. I don't know where we are. You see, I hope the mass will guard their hearts. 
mind and hope from the Arab, I mean life from the uh, from any compromise, let me put it that way. Um, um target paddling this budget because if they continue to paddle and then do all sorts of things, not respecting the demands they are in consolid in consolidation and we will not go anywhere. But I pray that the budget will work for us. But uh, let me add this that by my own thinking I accept the challenge to probably ask for accountability when they start this project. But only if they can give me opportunity to know exactly who is dispensing and who will be able to account for whatever in, in times like this. Thank you very much. Thank you too. All right, thank you. Hello? Hello? Hello, good morning. Good morning. I'm Prince Ojo. I'm speaking from Okesho Kukwe in Adekuta. Thanks for calling back. Uh, for the 2018 budget, I have the opportunity of listening to the 2018 presented by President Wari yesterday. The speech by the president and the Hugo Guma by the speaker, Rodera, were encouraging. When two elephants fight, hello. hello. Could you turn down the volume on the radio sets? It's turned down. Are you hearing me now? Well, we still, still an echo. Uh, we can still hear the echo of your voice. Some distortion is coming from your end, obviously. So. All right, go on. Go on, go on. Okay. When to fight it is the uh, grass that we suffer. If they all put Nigeria, Nigeria one, number one in their mind, and work in cooperation, the budget will work. Because the budget was, was a good one. If properly implemented, there's no reason why Nigerians should not smile. But well, my fear is this. We always present good budgets. But if implementation is always the problem. But if you realize that if they cooperate, for sure, this one will be better than the, 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 the other ones. Because from their body languages yesterday, I could see that, yes, there's a lot of seriousness. Because the, the uh, Senate president expressed his mind, the speaker too expressed his mind. And in fact, and the, and the president himself was sincere at the presentation. He stood for over one and a half hours, so he meant what he was doing. So I just pray that it is properly implemented. That's my thing. Good morning. Thank you right, very thank much. You. We'll add this call and then check the messages and tweets. We have um, a whole lot of them here. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. From Oya in Abekuta. I believe in this budget. It's indeed a project of consolidation. This budget that the projected revenue from oil uh, projected oil revenue is just two point four trillion. And projected non oil revenue is four point one seven trillion. I give in this budget. And he even told us yesterday that one point two trillion invested on capital projects despite all time low price of oil revenue of its kind in this country. So, and he even told us again that uh, for eight years, the standard gauge rail project was 50% completed. And in two years, this administration has made it 98% completed. So, we believe in this project only that we pray that the corrupt people that are in, in its government, we pray to Allah as mighty God to us, suppress them and make this budget a realistic. So thank you. Good morning. Thank you too. All right, thank you. All right, I'm running through the tweets that we have here. We have this very one from Yemi Da Vinci. This budget is a tragic one. Reading the budget has altered my mood and spoiled his day. We are jokers. Nigeria is a joke. That's from Yemi Da Vinci. And we have this from Taiwo or Laleye. The 2018 budget as presented sounds promising, just that little or no corresponding and turnaround may be noticeable in our socioeconomic lives. Much of these figures will end up in private pockets. 
However, PNB is creditably changing the narratives. Popola Samson, Buhari is back on his feet and I commend him on the depth of his presentation of the budget. PNB is working. It will only take time. Comrade Majid, there is no hope in Nigeria again. Why won't there be insurgency in the country? The country, the impover... Okay, the land um, is on the rise. The budget is a dispressing one. Agriculture is on the back burner alongside education. Okay, those came from Comrade Majid. Then we have Yemi Da Vinci again. We are going to be using 25% of our budgets to service the debts while we are still looking to take on more debts. Let me go back to sleep. Comrade Majid again. Why are people dying if the last budget had worked? The health sector is gulping 500 billion naira over and there's still no superb health care in the country. Are you hearing the agonizing tone of the callers? Uluwashe Emmanuel turned in this one. Yesterday was an unbelievable day for me to see. And I've seen 72 years, okay, the 72 year old man, Muhammad Buhari, standing for almost two hours to present the 2018 budget when some youths cannot stand for as long as, um, okay, but still blaming him for not doing anything. I hope he gets a more understanding of how. Mokwala Samson tweeted again, if we continue to abort every race midway, we will never get to the finish line. This government is making a whole lot of progress. Comrade Majid tweeted again, when a budget is working, you see it in the lives of the populace. Nothing has changed in the lives of, the, of those on the streets. Common salary is being owed and they keep lying of, um, of, and they keep lying and telling us that we will come out of corruption that was orchestrated by them in the first place. Chiamaka Osuji. Okay, this is not um, for the uh, citizens from Oluwashe Emmanuel. Government is working. They should not be blamed for on the funding of the budgets. Rather, let's blame the Niger Delta who are holding the nation to ransom. They should not cry foul because the Niger Delta region is getting more. Comrade Majid again, the country has turned to a laughing stock abroad. Nothing is working, no power. Roads are bad, no food, no water, good health, shelter, and someone will stand over there thinking Nigerians are gullible and saying they're consolidating it. Work the talk, man. Oluwashe Emmanuel again, a large chunk of the budget in 2018. Nigerians should condemn. All right. The Niger Delta budget alone is more than three ministries altogether. Their leaders should call those militants to order and stop being hypocritical about that region for the betterment of everyone. We should give kudos to the administration because they negotiate the OPEC benchmark for crude oil seal by excluding Nigeria from the benchmark, which was given, which has given us the chance to sell our crude without limitation and that has also helped them fund in this year's budget. Yemi Da Vinci, why has our budget been increasing but the lives of Nigeria has not? That's because we don't believe in human capital development. We are spending close to half of our budget in paying salaries. How are we ever going to develop and pivot out of this economic peculiar mess? More from Yemi Da Vinci, what? In the 2018 budget can give me 12 hours electricity daily in 2018. This budget is okay. That's um, we should sound positive. More from Yemi Da Vinci. Hear me, oh Nigerians. The salvation does not lie in the 2018 budget, whether it is faithfully implemented or not. How can we continue to borrow to pay salaries? What is the purpose of building roads and bridges with an impoverished populace? Then lastly, from Unua Sheyi Emanuel, Nigerians should not forget that the administration is also funding the 2018 budgets with recovered loots of 527 billion naira, which the last administration says stole it, um, is not corruption. Let Nigerians think. This government is trying their very best. Let's appreciate them for once and pray for their success. Then this one just trickled in. I see hope in our future. If we continue to fashion a way forward for more inclusive governance and budgeting, God help us. That was a tweet from Oluwashe Emmanuel. So, me messages? Yes, we have short code messages. Uh, this particular one says, uh, good morning to you in the studio. 
Uh, to the best of my knowledge and to my belief, nothing is uh, unachievable. If there is steady pursuit and constant persistence towards it, and also do we have all what it takes, that is money, to implement all this mandatory estimate. God bless Nigeria, God bless Ugo State, and God bless Ugo City. I am calling from a patient and in that. Looking at the budget analysis as presented by Mr. President, so why is it that education and agriculture gained upper hand from the back? A question that needs an answer. Please, it is unfair. Nigeria's educational system is getting watery and it's going down gradually. Please, the visionary, the visionary leaders should rise and do something meaningful, intangible. Are you calling from a Bishi sent in that one? All right, keep sending your messages to 32120, type rock, leave a space, type your message, include your name, and send to 32120. We go back to the calls 0809-868-7344 or 0909-146-9670. Good morning. Thank you. Yeah, uh, about the budget presentation of yesterday, I think it's a wonderful budget. It's a wonderful thing. But I think it goes beyond that. I think the implement, implementation is the the key issue there. I don't know how true it is. How did they implement the one of last week of this year, 2017? As we are hearing, I don't know how true it is that the implementation of this year budget was only 15 percent, which is not good at all. I think the, the important thing is let us implement at least 20 to 70 percent, if not 90. And that will be good for us. Thank you. God bless you, girl. Thank you. God bless you too. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Hola, Anima Shawin is the name calling from Mabel Futa. We have you. You cannot but have the kind of phosphoric reactions that you've been getting from Nigeria concerning the 2018 budget. It's, uh, it's expected. And let it be known consistently that a budget is a statement of intention. And like has been centrally uh, suggested, the execution is what really matters most. And that's the area we have to continue emphasizing on for the government. On paper, if you look at it, it's not a bad project to be sincere with us. Every budget is a work in progress for the development of the nation. No single budget, and I repeat, no single budget can remove or eliminate all the challenges facing the people of a particular country. It can only reduce. And when you have a template that suggests that you can get to that El Dorado gradually, provided there is continuity in programming and governance, then you get there one day. And even when you get there, it's not going to be 100%. Uh -huh. So let's rally around the flag. If you have an eight-year budget with all the breakdown, two minutes may not be enough to do all these stuff. But I think we are on a, a good level. The only thing is that I would have loved the, 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 the capital expenditure to be more than the recurrent or concurrent expenditure, whichever way you want to look at it. But the embargo placed on federal employment might be a, a, a downside. But looking at it again, there is a provision for the new win and empowerment program all around the budget that has been itemized. It presupposes that government may likely be looking at creating opportunities for people to get themselves engaged rather than the federal government taking the bill of employing everybody and perhaps an over you know, capacity that may not be easy for the government to fund. And when you must look also at the over 500 billion that was brought in from the budget fund, you see that it's an improvement. And the 16% increase from last year budget also suggests that we are likely going to spend ourselves precisely out of the recession that we are getting out from. And in that instance, the more you go through the date on the gate, the better for the citizens. Perhaps I should stop here. There are a lot of issues that should be tackled on this one and a half hour budget. And I salute the capacity of the president for his health, for being on his feet again. I thank God for his blessings, for giving us this opportunity, at least to go a long way in guaranteeing that the implementation of the budget on the good potential. And one more thing, please. The simultaneous equation that has been brought in, the opportunity of still continuing with about 50% execution of last year, I mean this year's budget, the year has not ended, 
we have gone about 50% from what we have had. The opportunity is still there for the government to continue on that and to launch part the next year project, provided the normal oversight function will be done without prejudice. And I hope everything will be done. And this is an opportunity for us to have the January to December budget. I think by next year, after this, we will be able to have an exact January to December. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, thank you. Hello? All right, take this comment on our Facebook page. This one from Shobadi Lukman. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, the 2018 budget presented by President Buhari yesterday is quite okay. But the question we're supposed to ask ourselves today is that can the canker worm that is surrounding the Buhari administration allow the budgets to be a realistic one? Because it is as good as your witness the presentation, it will, it will be painful if we begin to start hearing unpleasant reports about its implementation through the greedy attitude of our leaders. Also, Buhari bans on recruitment. Buhari's ban on recruitment by MDAs is not a welcome idea in his budget presentation because it means that Mr. President is not intending to find lasting solutions to the problem of our unemployed graduates in the country. That made uh, Baba Sujo to say that our leaders are sitting on a keg of gunpowder due to increase in the rate of unemployment in the country. All right, so when they look man, sent in that one. All right, keep sending your messages to 32120. Type rock, leave a space, type your message, include your name, and send to 32120. Hello? Good morning, sir. Good morning. My time has gone, can you come for another hour? And we they hear you go on God free. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Godfrey. That should be all. Good morning, Mr. Speed. Good morning. Oh, I want yesterday the presentation directly from NC International. It was said to Bukala Saraki that first of all, welcome everybody to the arena. Looking at yesterday's budget on education, it was just too low. During the military era, Kenya used to pick the lions here. That, that, that was why the reason some of our lecturers from various cultural institutions, such as university, polytechnics, colleges of education, do go on strike all the time. We want to di di diversify the economy. The money budget for agriculture was just too low. I expect President uh, Bali to sanction some state governors who defy payment of their salary and gratuity yesterday. So to make things simpler, I want uh, all the state governments to please pay, uh, to put the uh, payment of salary, pension, and gratuity their priority. So people are still committing suicide. So one day, I think Nigeria will be a better home. God bless your city. God bless Nigeria. God bless, God bless you too. too. Thank you. Hello. Good morning. Can you speak up more? Hello, are you hearing me? Better. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, thank God. Uh, that uh, the president has held the budget. Yes, and uh, I commend you for doing that. Because, uh, no, 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 we don't, we don't believe, we don't believe that we can, we can, we can, we can go through the process. But for the man of the day, they have went to go almost two hours starting. I think we commend you for that. But the next thing is here. Thank you. 
God bless it here. Zero eight. Yeah, my name is Honorable Larry Gaji. I'm calling from the People's Parliament. As far as I'm concerned, I think it's a very good name. You know, presenting the budget very quickly and at the same time. But we need to really make sure that it's well implemented. We need to really see how we can help the government. Let's keep them in charge. The economy seems a little bit better now. Let's see what we can be able to achieve for us. We need to really get you know, uh, a lot of energy in the provision of energy, provision of agricultural products so that people can have food and have you know, uh, very cheap you know, uh, food uh, products to buy. And then that one is gone. I'm telling you, uh, you are going to get it better. Let's continue to pay for them. Go we'll continue to bless Nigeria. Go we'll continue to bless the food for them. We wish you the same. Then one more call. And they'll wrap it up with the messages and tweets. But while we expect him that call, we have this from Comrade Mojid. What trial are you giving to them? Are there relationships that you want to go into, that you want to start a trial? Okay, at Honorable Judge's um, submission. We have this from Adeinka Adedeinbo. When you invest in infrastructure and have good policies on ground, Nigerians would invest and we shall have... FDI too. Okay, that was sent in by Adedeimbo. Then still from him, yes, education and health deserve more money. But where's the money? We invest infrastructure. Yinka Adedeimbo sent in that. Then come read Majid. Like I said, you know a budget is working when you hear from an average Nigerian. Go to the rural areas, Tobi and Chenye. There you will understand how impoverished people are. Eniola Egbekunle, government focus less on human capital development and then they care less for the future of our youth, who are the strength and hope of every nation. Eniola Egbekunle again, PMB is back on track and I wish he had been this strong and tenacious about the project Nigeria since he took over power. Okay, those were tweets from Eniola Egbekunle. All right, let's uh, wrap it up with this short of messages. So this one says, I am not interested about the 2018 budget proposal presented by Mr. President yesterday. I can only appeal to Mr. President not to allow those thieves around him to tamper with this budget so as to impact its implementation with this budget. Uh, also as to impact the implementation of the, on the lives of ordinary Nigerian masses. God bless Nigeria. Pastor Shola Makede sent in that. The budget is good and the present administration is working. Let's keep on praying for Nigeria that the ant do good the ant do good agents in the government will not hinder and divert the substances that will take that it will take to implement it uh, to their own interest. Are you coming from Ibishi sent in that one? Uh, looking at those that are criticizing or talking on the video and implementation of all present previous budgets. Is it all what they themselves budgeted for the living, living? Okay. Is it what they themselves budgeted for um, in a year or a month or a week or even a day that were achievable by them? To be in power is not easy. Let's keep on praying for Nigeria and our leaders. Uh, that all the anti do well agents in the government, the Lord will use them as an as agents of achieving these good goals laid down. And you're only sending them one from Ibishi. All right, uh, that is uh, the last message. And this is how we draw the curtains on the show this morning. Thank you so much for your inputs and your contributions. Well, budget of consolidation. Hopefully, we'll be able to consolidate all the gains. And no matter how marginal they are and we've made, in the past few years. It is not a time to relax. This is the time to roll up our sleeves and work together. Everyone is involved. Thank you so much for being part of the show. I am Toby Joseph. Have a wonderful Wednesday.